Will they ever contact me again? What do you need to know? Are they going to reach out? No contact situation, no communication. Will you ever hear from them again? Going to split the deck into four, four elements, four seasons, most importantly for angels, offering us a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind. Going to do a nine card spread. I want to see where they are at in the middle. Welcome back to Hope to Have a Daily. My name is Angie. I'm a tarot card reader from England. This tarot reading is between you, the universe, and your intuition. Let me know in the comments where you're from. I'm genuinely interested. So, they've got the Emperor reversed in the middle. If you've watched my readings before, you know. You know, you know, you know. Emperor reversed in the middle. My nine card spread, the centre card is them. The Emperor reversed, they're very immature. They're very, put the blame onto everyone else. They blame their parents, they blame the cat, they blame the dog, they blame the teacher, they blame the boss, they blame the partner, they blame the kids, they blame everything. Everything on everybody else. They go around in life making massive mistakes and they don't take any accountability for it. And they feel they've got a massive chip on their shoulder, not in a good way, in the way of everyone owes them something. The Eight of Swords reversed to begin with is this isolation, trapped, refusing to look at it, blocking you, avoiding you, pretending that you don't exist. The page of wands reversed is someone that's very shallow, someone who's very selfish, someone who's a little bit of a cokehead, uh, maybe actually, or just have that arrogant. It's, it's like if you rung them at four o'clock in the morning, they would phone you back in three days' time telling you how selfish you are for phoning them at three in the morning. But if they phoned you at four in the morning and you didn't answer, they would give you hell for not answering. It's one-way street with them. With the two of swords reversed, they get in a lot of conflict. The Wheel of Fortune, to me, is this no contact with them is a good thing for you. It's almost like the universe is putting them in time out. The universe is trying to give you a chance to move on. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, the universe is trying to give you a chance to get your feet back on the ground again. Because when you're dealing with the Emperor reversed, you get sucked into their world and you get sucked into their way of thinking. So when they're telling you you're really selfish for not answering the phone at three in the morning, you kind of believe it because they haze you all the time. And so the longer there's a no contact situation, the more you get your head together. And then the more you start realising of why have I been putting up with this? And it's the Queen of Pentacles. It's time to get your feet back on the ground again. The Three of Swords is the painful situation that they're, they're causing. The Chariot is, it's been a long time coming, but it's time for you to take control of this situation. And it feels like run, 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 run. And don't look back. If this is your reading, you'll be nodding along. We've got the Page of Swords reversed, which is the diagonal here is them continuously letting you down. And the diagonal here is their impatience, their one-way street causes a lot of pain. Through the middle here is you challenging them of, do you know what, you deserve better. You deserve someone where it's a 50-50, someone who's not going to blame you, someone who is going to be there for you and show up for you. I'm going to do a quick Celtic cross for you. I want to see what the universe is trying to open up for you. I do do private readings. They are available. But if this is your reading, you don't need it. You just need to listen to the universe. There's a reason this person's been removed from your life. You deserve so much better. If this isn't your reading, don't try to claim it. We're starting a Celtic cross with their eight of swords. They put restrictions around you. And then we've got the King of Pentacles. They're not your King of Pentacles. You are the Queen of Pentacles. Whether you're male or female, you are the Queen of Pentacles. You're looking for your match. This person is not your match. But this person will stop you from finding your match because this person's really selfish. Moment of judgment for you. Surrender into the path that you're meant to be on. The Wheel of Fortune has kicked into this situation. It's trying to bring closure in for you. It's trying to open up new good things for you. Listen to it. Listen to the universe. Sometimes the universe makes a situation so difficult because we're not meant to have it. And we're meant to have something better. But then there'll be a point where the universe is like, right, I've tried to give you enough signs that this isn't for you. If you want it here, go have it, but it's not going to be nice. 
Listen to the universe while the universe is working in your favour, even when it feels really painful and you don't understand why. In the long run, when you look back, you will realise, oh my goodness, I'm so glad that that happened. I'm so glad that I walked away from them. I'm so glad the universe disconnected me from that person. There'll be something in the future in 10, 20 years time that you learn about this person. It almost feels like something in the news or something on social media when you read it and think, oh my goodness, I'm so glad I'm not involved in that. We've got the four of wands. The universe is trying to put you on your path to marriage, happiness, celebrations with your friends, better times ahead of you. This whole situation with this person's not good. It's not happy. It's not anything. If you took this person to a family event with you or around your friends, they would probably at some point cause an argument. There would be bad feeling. And the next day you'll be phoning up people trying to apologise on their behalf because they're not going to be the one to apologise. What you want in life is even if you have to go to that event on your own, at least you know you're going to have a good time and there's not going to be anyone there ruining it. Because it feels like this person ruins things. When they're not the centre of attention, they ruin it. They want the attention, whether it's good or bad. Behind you is the Queen of Cups. You've given this person a lot of love. You've given this person a lot of chances. You've put your feelings in the cupboard and let this person have it all. You've made excuses for them. You've really wanted them to be your person. But at some point you have to start looking after yourself again. Be the Queen of Cups for you. Moving forward is your strength. This is your willpower, your recovery, you standing up and being strong again. You're getting up, you're dusting yourself off, deleting their number, just getting rid of them. Don't give the option of reaching out. Um, because at some point they will. When they want something, it's solely for them. They'll be back. Got the Four of Swords. Is it better off on your own? This is the underlying question here. The Four of Swords is the isolation, is the time by yourself making peace with the world where you are. At the moment, you're better off disconnected from anybody until you've got your feet back on the ground again and you feel strong again. The timing on this for you, you've got a King of Wands coming your way. This person that's around you that's blocking you and, and no contacting you, they're stopping from something amazing happening for you. The King of Wands is a very nice match for the Queen of Pentacles. They have all of the ideas and then you have the know-how of making money out of it. And it's almost like they'll have the idea of, I really want to decorate something. And you have the, the budget and the know-how and the where to get the stuff. And they have the motivation to do it. It's a very good pairing. So attainment here is a lovely relationship with somebody new. And there's the Emperor. Someone who's really an emperor for you. Not the emperor reversed, who's childish and pathetic, but a real emperor who's going to go from the king of wands and show you what an emperor really is. Being stable, being grounded, being there, being present, talking, listening, being an adult and showing you the stability that you need in life. And it feels really great. It really does. So that's what I have for you. There's a reason that this is a no contact situation. There's a reason that you deep down know that this is not good for you. If this is your reading, let me know in the comments. I'd like to know the right person's got the right reading. Private readings are available if this wasn't your reading. Or I've got lots of others. Just scroll through all of my readings. There'll be a message there for you. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so your angels can take you on your way.